Blue Ranger power! <laughs> Greetings everyone, all my fellow cosplayers and gamers, we've got Blue Ranger power here. Well, today's going to be a bit of a different video, not another collection video in a way, but originally this is going to be the weekend I was going to be at Power Morphicon, but due to the current world situations, they had to cancel it this year, but on the positive note, instead of having it every two years this time, they're just going to have it next year instead of having to wait next year to hold two years for it. But that's cool, so I thought instead of, since I really can't go to Morphicon this year, I thought I'd show, show off my top five favorite 25 items of my collection of Power Rangers. Well, I'll be honest, it, it really was going to be a top 10, then it got up to top 20, but then I just had too many things, it's hard to pick just one item, because I have a lot of cool stuff, Power Rangers, in the museum, but the museum's really starting to get cramped, so I've had to move a little bit out of the museum a little way, but it's pretty cool, though. I'll show you some, some of my favorite items. First things first, my Megazord. This is the dinosaur that transformed all the detachables. Look how you got this. Oops. The mammoth head, the shield thing. I know in the show they really didn't use that that a whole lot, 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 but it was still cool. With the pterodactyl sword. So and then, then we just take this apart like so. Yep, so pretty cool. Because we all know the morphing, how that time they had Megazord, how all of the Super Sentai stuff. This is, it's pretty cool stuff, though. Yeah, I know some of this has seen better days, but for stuff this little, it's something you really kind of have to expect. Just like so. I messed that up. Do it backwards. There we go, like so. And there we go, we got the mammoth Zord. And then of course the Triceratops. And the saber tooth tiger. Alright, and then another, this is actually one of my personal favorite items. I was, this one had to be in there. My own supply of Ivan Zoos from the 90s movie. Yeah, I actually got this a long time ago. I won it at a contest, so it was pretty cool. Even though it's definitely seen bad days, but this this made, was made when the movie came out, so it's over 20 years old. I had to have it in my collection, though. It's so pretty cool. If I ever do meet Paul Freeman again, i got to have him sign it. And this... I got this at the last Morphicon, 2018, when I went to the Command Center field trip. It was pretty cool. And then pretty much, uh, it was showing, it's exclusive for Lord Dragon. Lord Dragon's awesome. And this, I got from Steve Cardenas, it's a San Diego Comic Con exclusive coin. Had to have that. Now this right here, is my dagger fruit. Actually, from the 90s. I've actually had this at one of my, my past Green Ranger cosplay. Actually, still works. So it's pretty cool. The buttons look and everything. So I thought that was definitely an awesome item. Not gonna lie, this list was definitely was hard to do. Then I got. These buttons, Power Ranger buttons, I bought these at Comic Con 2018, Las Vegas Comic Con. Has all the Power Rangers. So that that was really cool. And this, Jason Narvi and Paul Schreier autograph from the movie, how uh, they have the ooze. Great people. I've met them quite a few times actually. I've met them like four times, I believe. Three or four times, but whatever. They're like the greatest people. They're funny. They act just like they do in the show in real life. But honestly, they're some of the greatest people to meet. If you're ever at a convention, if you're not a fan of Power Rangers, they're like the greatest people. They're hilarious. They'll keep you entertained. Then, we got a video game, my SNES Power Rangers Fighting Edition. Got it signed by 
David Zordon, JDF, and can't pronounce his name, but Carrion, he played Goldar. Then I got Steve Gardena signed this box as well. This had to be done. Then I got this Super Nintendo game, the 90s Power Ranger video game, I'm more from Power Rangers. I got it signed by Rita right there. The, the physical reader, and then I got the voice of reader right here. And I have Amy Jo Johnson, Austin St. John, and Walter Jones on here as well. So that was another cool item. This, my Green Ranger helmet, my Legacy helmet. Bought this at Charger's before they went out of business, but pretty cool. To have. If I ever do bring the Green Ranger helmet back, bring, 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 I'll wear this. I love this helmet, it's pretty awesome. Next we got my first Morphicon. They had an exclusive on, they only made 50 of them. Or no, five, five, correction, 500 of them. And I, it was only 40 bucks, it's really got them in value, but this is what I had to have. This Megazord. Yeah, th I love this Megazord, it's probably one of my favorite items I have in my collection. This is one thing I'm never going to sell anytime soon, because I'm not going to lie, when I show people pictures of this, when I was at a drug toy I showed them pictures of it, they were trying to buy it off me that I told them all no, not for sale. But hey, it's another cool item. Then I got my Legacy Communicator. This one actually has been open. I got it for a good deal at Rogue Toys a long time ago. It actually does pretty cool. I'll show you what it does. Pull it out, and then you just go. So that's pretty cool. It's cool how you can change the yellow, pink, red, and black. But I have blue because I, I chose to have David Yost in there and, you know, Billy. Great Power Ranger. Blue's, Blue's always been one of my favorites. But like the Communicator. And speaking of Bill, Billy, my flip head signed by David Yost himself. I actually have all the flip heads. They actually all are signed except the yellow one because unfortunately Tui Train has did pass away a long time ago. Her anniversary just passed of her passing recently. But hey, she was a hell of a Power Ranger. Always will be the original Yellow Ranger. Then I also got this. Got this 2018. This Funko Pop. This Legacy Megazord. Which the Pop of the Megazord I just showed you. They only made like 50 of these and I think 50 or 100 but I had to have this. This I had to have. I'm just glad I bought it when I did because it's gone up in value. Best 25 bucks I ever spent. Then I got my Falcon Zord. This is actually from the 90s. Bought this from a guy at a convention a long time ago. It wasn't really expensive, but it's pretty cool. The Falcon Zord because we all know what the 90s movie is awesome. Then of course I got did it. My Green Ranger statue. That I had to have. I bought the funny thing when I was at Morphic Country, this is that 2018. They had pretty much these were going for like 50, 80 bucks on eBay, but the guy who actually pretty much the company who that was there who makes them, it was pretty much straight from dis distributor, so I cut the middleman out, paid 30 bucks for this, and it's really detailed. I had to have that. And of course, oh, excuse me, Lord Draken himself. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got Kev, Kev, I got JDF to sign this. And he was and he played them in the in this comic because I know he's a piece of pretty much the story. Of Lord Draken is he's a Green Ranger when, without going back to Rita or to the original Power Rangers. He just went his own separate way, became Lord Draken. Yeah, see if you want to read that little description of it. Got signed, signed by Cal Higgins and JDF. Because he wrote down his name right there. 
And this is, is very like so. This is actually Lord Dragon's first appearance on a toy. And this was Power Morph Con exclusive. It was celebrating 25 years of the Power Rangers. The 25th anniversary of Power Rangers. This is this thing right here is actually really not really part of my 25, but it was just something in celebration of the 25 years of Power Rangers. I I had to get it. I got it all signed, but check this out. Signed by Captain Sutherland. She was the second Pink Ranger after Amy Jo. Jason Font. He was the Red Time Force Rangers. They really watch Time Force, but it's still pretty cool. Then JDF himself. I had to get that signed. But hey, that's pretty cool. And then another one of my favorite items. Of course, I have to have this. My Mind Morph from Power Rangers the movie, Blu-ray. Great movie. I remember when I was a kid, I would watch this movie so many times in one day. I can I had this movie memorized. And of course, I have to have my Mind Morph from Power Rangers complete series. I recently did a review on this. But it's pretty cool. Another thing I really like. My Alpha 5 box. Signed by Romy J. J. Shar if I can't pronounce her last name. But my pop, she wrote down. Ay, 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 get me out of this box. <laughs> that was pretty cool. And I remember I was talking about Lord Draken. Here's actually his first appearance. Signed by JDF. Kyle Higgins, I can't pronounce it, I forgot the other guy's name, but the three three people of Lord Dragon and JDF himself. So, pretty cool to have it, have it framed in this, in this frame. Alright, the, oh, I think it's pretty cool. My Mighty Morphin Power Rangers there, the Dumpster VHS tape. The pilot episode. Signed by Amy Jo Johnson. Pretty cool. Alright, another awesome thing I have. This 8x10 signed up of all five Rangers. Signed by literally all of them. Johnny Young Bosch, Bill David Yost, Amy Jo Johnson, Jason David Frank, Karen Ashley, and Steve Cardenas. Actually, when I met JDF, he actually gave me this autograph for free. He's a really nice guy, and then he did that. Not sure if you could see it, but he wrote something good for one free autograph from David Yost. Alright, but then I actually showed Trump, he actually earned it no problem. Yeah, but this is this is this is awesome. This one, I actually, this is actually not hanging in my museum. I hang this in my living room because I'm in my living room a lot more, obviously. Then the last thing I have to show you guys in my top twenty-five. This thing took me years to do. It. It's still not fully complete, but it's one of my favorite items. This, this poster is from the '90s, signed by so many people: Paul Freeman, Dulcia, Vulcan Skull, Amy Jo Johnson. I even got it by Robert Ax Axlord before he passed away. Rest in peace. Definitely was a hell of a guy. Right, the first one I got was JDF, obviously. This is when Wiz I got. I first started getting this done in Wizard World 2016. This I definitely had to get. But I had to help. Well, hopefully one day I can meet Nicholas Bell. Because yeah, he's definitely a need here. And the kid who played Fred. Yeah, but this is a, definitely one of my favorite pieces. Of my collection of Power Rangers. All right, well, but though this video's not over yet, so heads up though, I'm gonna show you a bit of the Power Ranger Museum. But fair warning though, it's a little cramped in here because the collection just has gotten dangerously big since I've since since I've started. So I'll show you. I'll kind of give you a quick look around, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you a collage of some of my favorite times at Morphicon. All right, everyone, let me know what you think. One other thing I forgot to mention, this is something I forgot to include, I really wanted to, but I didn't. This is my Megazord letter opener, one of my really good friends gave this to me. It's pretty awesome, my friend Rob gave it to me.
use this to open the letters, but it is awesome. And of course, got these toys as well. Yeah, well, already right, one. Now it's on to my collage of my my moments at Morphin people I've met and Power Ranger people I've met. Let me know what you think. And have you met any Power Ranger people? And what do you think of it? Drop a like. Well, let me know in the comment section what you think. And who have you met and what's your experience with Morphicon. Alright everyone, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Alright everyone, Blue Ranger out.